Hi students. Now we have read about the reflection of light. And now you people are aware about the reflection of light. Reflection of light simply means the coming back of light into the same medium. Reflection of light means simply the coming back of light into the same medium from which it is incidented after it strikes a surface. This surface can be anything. Now, it is because of this very reflection of light that you are going to see the things around you. Now, this reflection of light is of two types. It is having two types. One is called as regular reflection. Regular reflection. And another is called as irregular. Irregular reflection regular reflection or irregular reflection regular reflection is also known as it is called as supercular supercular reflection and this is also called as diffused diffused reflection now sir what are these regular and irregular reflection now my dear what is you are going to look towards the mirror in mirror you are able to see yourselves but at this, that means there is reflection but let us have the example of regular reflection let us have this as a smooth surface let it be a mirror yeah what is mirror mirror is a highly polished surface mirror is a highly polished surface let this be the incident ray of light that we are having a number of rays of light incident. This is one of the incident ray of light. This is another ray of incident light. This another incident ray. Of Remember, you have definitely show the arrows because if I am going to show simply lines, then we are not aware in which direction they are coming and in which direction they are going. We are having a parallel beam of light. So after reflection, this will go like this. This very is going to go like this. This very is going to go like this. So these very arrow headers shows the this incident beam of light, this reflected beam of light. So this type of reflection, once we are having surface as a highly polished surface or smooth surface, the surface here is a smooth, smooth surface that type of reflection is called as regular reflection regular reflection the reflection of light if it takes place from a highly polished surface say a mirror then the so that the surface here is a smooth one then you can say the reflection of light is known as regular reflection my dear whatever is written here you are able to see it you are able to see it but you are not able to see your image in this very paper now once you are going to go through newspaper your notebook your book your text one but you are able to see everything on the text whatever you have written there but you are not able to see your image here you are not able to see yourself in that very uh, paper newspaper textbook but at the same time once you are going to look at a mirror you are able to see yourselves the reflection that type of reflection, this very pattern, where having parallel beam of light, that is coming out as a parallel beam of light. This incident beam of light, this is reflected beam of light. This very type of reflection is called as regular reflection. This very type of reflection takes place from smooth surface. That is simply the reflection of light is said to be the regular one if it takes place from smooth surface. So I can put it here. If a reflection of light takes place takes place from smooth surface then it is called as then it is called as regular reflection 
रेगुलर रिफ्लेक्शन ओब्लिक जिसको हम बोलते हैं सुपेक्यूलर रिफ्लेक्शन सुपेक्यूलर रिफ्लेक्शन भी इसको हम बोलते हैं सो एट द सेम टाइम वेर हैविंग ए रेगुलर वन नाउ वेर हैविंग अनदर लेट दिस बी अगेन ए सरफेस Sir, how the surface is like this? My dear, you are going to see your white board at your school, or your green board, or any board, black board, yar, or this very paper. It seems to be smooth, but once it is going to be visualized under a microscope, the surface is not a smooth one. It is having these very depressions, depressions, ups and downs. So once we are having an incident beam of light, this is incident beam of light. It gets incidented here. This another ray of light, it gets incidented here. This another incident ray of light, it gets here. Or uh, this another incident ray of light, it is incidented here. Now the reflected ray of beam, some moves like this. This can move like this. It moves like this, and this moves like this. So the incident beam of light and reflected beam of light, they are not having the same pattern. You are just. You just see it out. The incident beam of light is a parallel beam. In this very regular one, the incident beam as well as the reflected beam, they are in a parallel pattern. The pattern doesn't get changed. But here, the pattern gets changed as the surface is not a smooth one. But my dear, the laws of reflection are obeyed here as well as here. Laws of reflection. As you have read, the incident ray, the reflected ray, and the normal all lie in a single plane. And secondly, the angle of incidence is always equal to the angle of reflection. Always, those laws are obeyed in the both the diagrams, both the surfaces. But here, the surface is a rough one. It is called as it is a rough surface. Rough surface. So the reflection is diffused one or irregular one. So you can see if reflection of light takes place takes place from a rough surface. Rough. surface then reflection is called as called as diffused reflection or diffused reflection or also as irregular reflection so what is the main difference between regular and irregular irregular and regular reflection these are going to take place from the surfaces if you are having the same light that same light is incident on a plane mirror the reflection is a smooth one the reflection is a specular one regular one but if the same light is incident on a paper whatever paper you are on a wall you can see everything on the wall because you are only able to see one as there is reflection so you are going to see everything on the wall that is only possible once the reflection takes place but you are not going to see yourself so it depends it doesn't depend upon it depends upon the surface what kind of surface you are seeing whether you are using a rough surface or whether you are using a, a smooth surface this is all for today inshallah tomorrow we will have another topic related like till then Allah Hafiz